Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Saw. In this video, we are going to discuss about AutoSaw tools. So majorly, we are going to focus in this video is what all are the tools will be used for AutoSaw configuration. As you all know that AutoSaw has three layers. One is application layer, another one is RTE and third one is the base software layer. In the base software, we have three layers. One is service layer, EC abstraction layer and microcontroller abstraction layer. So for every layer, to work in every layer, we need a specific tools. For an example, in the base software configuration, we need a specific tool based on the base software stack. And RTE, we need a tool for RTE generation. And in the application layer, for creating a software component, we need a specific tools. So that is what we are going to discuss more deeper in this video. If you will see this picture, here you will come to know about it in the base software side, what all are the services you will have it. For an example, in the basic software, you have a system services, memory services and communication services. And in the abstraction layer, you have a onboard device abstraction, memory hardware abstraction and communication hardware abstraction, IO hardware abstraction. And in the M call layer, in the M call layer side, we'll have all the relevant drivers. So already we discussed everything in more detail in our previous videos. So I have mentioned all the videos in the description and you can watch it. If you will see this picture, then you will come to know about core partners are in the AutoSAR. For majorly, if you will look who is actually providing the tools, like if you will see here ETAS, and if you will see it here R-Core, and you are getting from Tata LC. So these are the tools and services providers. And if you will see here, here you will get the standard software. For an example, stacks, who all are providing the stacks, all this information you will see it here. And here, who all are the OEM, it's original equipment manufacturer. What are the tire one supplier? All this information you will have it from here. For an example, if you are getting some stack from KPIT, then you need a specific tool to work on it, right? So that is what we are going to discuss in this video. Basically, in the AutoSAR tool chain, it has authoring tool for editing your XML file for RT generation and base software generation and OS generation, and you need a specific tool for all this doing all these configurations. So if you will see this slide. For an example, if you are getting a base software stack from ETAS and they have a specific tool for, it's called as Isolar B and RTA BSW. This is majorly used for base software configuration. For RTA generation, they have a RTA RT tool. For the application software component configuration, they have a Isolar A. At the same time for Vector, here they have a base software configuration, we have a Dominancy Configurator Pro. And in RTA side, we'll have a Microsoft RTA generator. And in the application side, we'll have a DaVinci developer, the KSR. So this is coming from a KPIT. So for the base software, they have a specific tool called KSR editor. In RT and application also, it's called as a KSR editor. And Electrobit, when you are receiving a base software from Electrobit, maybe in your project, then you would have been used the base software configurator tool called EB Trusa Studio. And in RT side also, they are using EB Trusa Studio. But in the application side, they are using third party tool. So third party tool means maybe they are using DaVinci developer. And if you will see the DSpace, DSpace we are not getting any base software, but DSpace is also a tool provider and they are providing a tool, especially in the RT generation and application configuration, it's called a system desk. And in the Siemens, we are getting a base software that means called as a VSTAR and they have a base software and configurator tool called as Vulcano VSTAR. And in RT side also, it will be used for Vulcano VSTAR. And the application configurator side, we have a vehicle system architect. Vulcano will vehicle systems architect. And apart from this, might be you have heard about it, R core. That's they also have it like a R core open uh, source AutoSAR and base software side, they have a base software builder. But nowadays, for an example, in the case of Siemens, they have it in a way like it's uh, they have a combination of might be you guys heard about the mentor graphics and uh, Messel. So these all are combined and now finally it's called as a Siemens. But these all are the major stack providers. That is the reason I have covered these all are the stack providers name and what are the specific tools they have been used. Because so many people requested to me for which pace software, what kind of tool the industry is suggesting and what kind of tool they are providing, the stack developer what they are providing. So that is the reason I just made this video. Hope you have a clarity about what are the tools we are using it for our AutoSAR configurator because the beginner, you should know about it before entering into the start to work in the base software side, what are the tools 
you can be used to do the particular development thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us for more technical content then please subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day